Hello? Yes, this is. No. No, I'm not interested. Mr. Coburn, I told you I'm not saying anything. No. Please just stop calling me. All right, Sylvia, what can I do for you? Well, I asked you here because, would you maybe like a drink? Uh, no, I don't have time. I have a seven o'clock reservation at Bellini's that I just cannot afford to Would miss. Would you maybe like to see him? He's just sleeping in the other room. No, not now. Oh. So, I assume I'm here because of all this talk about me in the newspapers? No, not really. But that wasn't me. I don't know how they found out. I actually asked you here because I need a little bit more money, John. What happened to the money I gave you last month? It's all gone. All of it? It goes so fast. I can't even afford to buy him the new clothes he needs. And the way he's growing, he hardly fits into his old ones. You just made that movie and I thought maybe... <laughs> it's not the amount, it's the principle. You know, despite what those damn papers say, I mean, I, I don't even know if he's mine. I mean, really, why should I keep shelling out money when I don't even know that? What? Of course he's yours. How I... could you say that? Okay, here. I'll give you another $50, okay? How's that? $50? The Inquirer is willing to give me ten times that amount. Oh, darling, you'll never go to the tabloids. You just don't have it in you. I've got to go. Take the money. We'll talk more later. But wait, don't you even want to see him? No, I, I'm late. Maybe another time. Mr. Coburn? This is Sil... No, there's no need to apologize. In fact, I'd like to... Well, I guess I suppose I've changed my mind. I could come down tomorrow. What time? No, that'll be fine. Thank you. <laughs> 